For the second week in a row, a local football player has been signed to his team's active roster in the NFL. Last week, it was Lima Senior's Jared Pugsley. This week, Coldwater's Keith Wenning. After Bengals quarterback Andy Dalton injured his thumb in last week's loss to the Steelers, Wenning picked up from the practice squad. He'll back up A.J. McCarron Sunday in San Francisco. Our own Austin Scott on the mend as well, but Scooter, still with time to pick out this week's Leifeld Welding Top 5 Play. Boys Bowling at Speedway Lanes gets us started at number five. Coldwater's Tyler Wenning rolls the strike here on his way to a 243 game, which is my high in a three game series. Crestview history being made at number four. Connor Lotzenheiser knocks down this three pointer against Columbus Grove, and that puts him into the Knights' 1,000 point club. And earlier this week, Emily Bauer joined the Lady Knights' 1,000 point club. That's cause for a celebration in Convoy. The New Bremen Cardinals swoop in at number three this week. It's Dion Haney leading the break, and he spices things up a bit with a behind the back pass to Ben Schwederman for the easy bucket. The Perry Commodores make their debut appearance on this winner's countdown at number two. Time winding down before the halftime break, and Seth Poling dishes to John Harrison. He drains the three at the horn. Perry's fast paced offense just continues to roll as they beat Ada. A great finish in Shelby County League action takes this week's top spot. Nearing the end of the fourth quarter, Fort Laramie's Taylor Gasson gets the stick back to put the Lady Redskins in the lead, but here comes Anna. Avery Benzman drives the length of the floor, gets the hoop and the harm. That ends up being the game winner for the Lady Rockets, 46-45 over the Larmy Army. It's great to have the winter sports season in full swing on the sports report, and we thank Leifeld Welding for helping us bring you the top five plays of the week.